here with Anne Svadvillers. You're holding right now one of the books you've illustrated, Jenny Angel. With the illustrations, how do you go about doing them? This is done in watercolour ink. I haven't got a nice little concertina book for Jenny Angel, but this book changed dramatically from my original idea. The writing in this is really beautiful, and I just wanted the writing to sit on the page on its own. I thought I might do something interesting with the page, just a texture or something, and then have the illustration like this and then just the words, and then just the picture. Mm. And then it just became really regimented and it just didn't feel right. But these are just the dummy books and the finished illustration here that you can see. I'm starting off quite rough here. And this drawing probably would have originally been a quarter that size. I find it really easy to draw small and then photocopy up bigger. So that's what I've done here. And then I've refined it a little bit more. I've added a little bit of colour. And in the final picture, you can see that I've pulled back a bit further. We've got more space around it to sort of isolate these two girls who are having this little private time. I usually do five, six, seven refining and refining. So can you tell us about the process it takes to create these images? The best example to use would be the peasant prints. Now I have to storyboard my ideas and that means drawing a little comic book. Each of these rectangles here is a double page of the book. But that's just like a little framework, so this would be my next lot of storyboard. Now I'm putting more detail into the pictures and I'm writing all sorts of little notes on the side about what colours they might be. So we've gone through this process at least three times. I've got another storyboard in here. This is a pretty much final storyboard for the peasant prints, just done in black fountain pen and ink mm. and wash really quickly. It keeps growing and growing and right up until when the illustrations are finished and the book's being put together, we're still looking at the text and the pictures and maybe making little refinements. This is another step forward. We call these little dummy books. This is a concertina dummy, so I cut this into strips, stuck them end to end and made this into a long dummy book and this is something that I can put up on the wall in my studio and see how each illustration is flowing into the next one. The publisher has made me up a beautiful full-size pure white book with white pages sticking in photocopies. This page here is a good one to look at because I really wanted to photograph the people on the street and get that feeling of authentic China so I would bring my photos that I took back into my studio, sketch them in my sketchbook and then these pictures here are photocopied out of my sketchbook, cut them all up, and it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. And I'm just playing around with them and finally sticking them down so that this makes a good picture for my final artwork. <laughs>